Hey everyone, Screaming Geek Media here. I am Jerry the Geek. Um, today's discussion, we're going to talk about uh, my two-year anniversary of the channel. But before we get into that, if you like physical media, if you like 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, you know, if you like home theater movies in general, you know, check out my other videos on my channel because I do discussions, I do reviews, unboxings, collection updates. You know, check that stuff out. Hit your like button, uh, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on. So I just want to say happy birthday to myself, happy anniversary. It's been two years since I've started this channel. Got inspired by other YouTubers out there. I mean, uh, uh, Jeff over at Films at Home, his was the first one I stumbled across when I found some reviews a few years ago. Then I started seeing others like Can at Mid-Level Media. Those are the two big ones I watch all the time. And there's some other ones. There's uh, Heath over to Serial at Midnight, Euphoria Pictures. Uh, the original Fuzz. I know there's some other ones I, you know, don't dog me if I didn't mention it, but there are a few other ones I watch and you know, check out every now and then. Uh, Tony over at Basement Blues is pretty cool. He does a lot of stuff. But it's just something that, you know, inspired me because, you know, I, I've always loved physical media. I collected VHS back in the day. And then when I got out of home theater, got in the Laserdisc, and then got into DVD, Blu-ray, HD DVD 4K. So I've always loved movies and this kind of stuff. Plus, it gave me an excuse to do something different and keep me busy. You know, before I started doing this, you know, I've been unemployed for a few years, and my wife is the only one working. I take care of my autistic son, so I kind of get bogged down every day thing and dealing with depression. And this really has brought me out of it and have, you know, give me a little of purpose, have fun to do. I really enjoy doing these. So, yeah, it's been fun two years. Uh, if you if you look at all my videos, you know, if you go back, if, you, if you're new to my channel, go back and find my earliest videos. And it's definitely a big difference. You know, and I, you know, I was recording with my digital camera set up on a corner of my desk and, you know, a crappy computer room. And plus, it was. It took me a while to get used to being in front of the camera, so I was pretty stiff and not very lax. I even made an outtakes video because at the beginning I couldn't say a whole sentence without screwing something up, and so the outtakes videos are kind of funny. I had to do that and poke fun at myself. And I remember, you know, moving in from there into the, our little dining room table and. And then, uh, then finally come down here to the dungeon. And for the longest time, I had just a blank concrete wall you had to look at. Slowly got around to putting a backdrop up so you can, have to check, so you can actually see something. You know, being in a basement, you know, most reviewers have all kinds of nice backgrounds with their collectibles and movies. I don't have that option. So maybe I'm, I've toyed around with the idea of adding something, maybe it's some shelving. and move the table out a little bit. So I have to wait and see how I can improve the background a little bit. So I try to change up the posters. I just done this this last month. Now as far as you know, the channel updates, um, I haven't changed my intro yet. I've only, I think the one I'm using is like the third one I've done. I don't have any fancy software. I can't do a whole lot. I'm kind of limited to what I can do and plus my knowledge and expertise and I don't have, have a lot of skills. I just kind of I just kind of wing it doing this stuff. But hopefully with the here soon I'll be you know throw a new intro up for you. Plus I have a lot of little audio clips I've uh, I use so I'm not using the same audio for all my videos. And I have to keep my clips short with what do with uh copyright when it comes to audio. I found that uh with an eight second clip, I can probably, I've been able to use anything without having any uh, uh, copyright content warnings. As far as using audio for my, when I show my screenshots being a longer clip, I'm very limited to what I could do there. I do have a couple I use, and one of them I've been using all the time, I don't have any issues with. Now, hopefully, the last few videos I've done, you might have noticed an improvement in the video quality since I've actually using my phone now. Because I've been using a trusty old, you know, ages old digital camera for all my recordings. I finally upgraded to a smartphone and I think it's working out well. I really like to have the 
reverse screen so I can actually see myself and easier to keep in frame and lot, lot makes a makes life a lot simpler doing these. Also, yesterday I got me a trusty new microphone you can see here. Hopefully my audio is better. And it comes with a little transmitter that actually plugs into the phone, nice and simple. And it also has an adapter. It's got both adapters on, so because I got an iPhone. And say if something happens, I need to switch phones to a regular, you know, like a Samsung or something else. It's got the USB-C on the other side, so it's compatible. So I don't have to worry about buying a new microphone set if I change cameras. You know, say if my phone, something happens, I need to use my wife's for a moment. It's like, hey, I can do it. You know, next up, I'm looking at uh, next upgrade. I'm thinking about getting a definitely need a new tripod. Looking, getting a, investing a new one there. Unfortunately, the one I had put in my watch list on Amazon was like $13.99. And the other day, it popped up to $18.99. It's like, God damn it. So, it has some advantages over some of the other ones I was looking at. So, I'll probably sell for less than 20 bucks. It actually comes with the, it's like a 70, 71 inch tripod. It comes with a, uh, selfie stick as well which i'm not sure if i'll use or not but it's got the remote to it and you know definitely that will help me out and plus by unboxing hopefully that'll improve my unboxing videos now going into the content on my channel and as far as my reviews go i'm going to keep you up you know not i don't i don't want to confine myself to just doing 4k reviews you know, it's great. You know, it's a lot of times, you know, if you got Blu-ray, you want to see this hot new 4K, see if it's worth getting or not. You know, I want to do the Blu-rays and DVDs as well. More of a, not, re I mean, you know, I'll talk about audio and video sometimes, but those will be more of like a movie recommendations. You know, I don't want to, I, I, you know, I don't want to confine myself to doing just mainstream. I want, you know, it's good to do the mainstream titles because they'll get to, uh, more, you know, more eyes to my channel. People will come across my channel through uh, doing searches for, you know, some new movies. But so I want to pick out some of these obscure titles you don't know about and give my recommendations. Because there's a lot of great movies out there. Some, you know, a lot of you might not know about. You know, I love the horror genre, you know, action. But at the same time, I really, my, me and my wife has got into doing enjoying a lot of the christian movies the last few years and you know don't be scared by that because you know i'm far from being a christian but i just love a good story you know good subject you know good subject matter and the kendrick brothers you know i've talked about their movies they do a wonderful job i love all their stuff so again you know check out these other reviews of mine you know get some ideas of what you might like to see and discussions and I try to throw some different discussions out there every once in a while, something people I might be interested in. I did a whole series of videos called Evolution of Physical Media. Um, they're kind of long-winded, especially they were still early on before I got used to being in front of the camera, so I'm kind of a little stiff. But they're re it's really good content, talking about the, you know, uh, it's like four or five videos. I start with discussing the, you know, video cassettes, how movies started coming out on that. You know, covering, you know, VHS, beta, you know, and some of the other formats, you know, this, talking about all the different formats, I, there's a lot of them I learned about I did not know about, you know, go into also talking about that, you know, laser disc, you know, the analog video disc, then it goes into digital, high definition. Again, there's probably a lot of formats you might not be aware of that you can buy and or rent. So, you know, definitely check those videos out. There's, there's a wealth of information there for you. Now, I just like throwing different topics up there. It just sometimes pops up in my head. I've talked about um, 3D, you know, you know, my thoughts about 3D movies. I talk about special features and just odds and ends. I just like to, you know, throw stuff out there, see what people like. Uh, something I, uh, one year ago when I did my one-year anniversary video, uh, something I talked about uh, starting to do is a spotlight series. And I'm sorry, I've been dragging my feet. I've not started that yet. I still want to. And I just, that I want to do is basically, you know, pick like a director or some kind of movie star or anything movie related. Pick someone out there and just do a whole topic about them, you know, 
how they came to be and movies they've done. So that's definitely something I still want to do. Again, I've been dragging my feet and just trying to get around to uh, doing some research and, you know, of those individuals, how I want to do it. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Also, next up, I want to do uh, everybody's done their top 10 of 2023 at the beginning of the year. I was debating whether I was going to do it or not. And I started thinking about what I want to do. But at the same time, a majority of the movies that came out last year, I had not watched yet. So I needed some time. So on my Instagram, I've been doing a monthly theme. So January was uh, uh, 2023 physical media releases. So I spent the entire month doing uh, movies that came out on physical media. I did some others just to throw in as well for doing reviews and stuff. But I ended up last night, I, I did a total of 22 movies that came out last year. So I finally got to sample a lot. And I finally, I've uh, got some movies jotted down for a top 10 list. I just need to go through and say how I want to organize them, how I want to do that and attack it. Because there's, it's really, when it comes to doing top 10 lists, it is very hard to find. It was very hard to, you know, narrow down and put things in order. What's better than another? It's going to be tough to do. I know when I used, because I'm a big roller coaster enthusiast and I have a top 10 list of like wood and steel. Those are always hard to do. So I will have a top 10 list for 2023 coming here, hopefully within the next few days. You know, if there's discussions out there, if there's things that you would like me to talk about, you know, please comment, you know, anytime and let me know. I'm always open, you know, ideas and you know, throw it out to see if I might be interested in doing. Uh, collection updates, I'm going to continue doing those every month. And as I, uh, you know, I have my next video I'm going to film here in a little bit is the January haul. And I'm at, you know, with those uh, collection updates, I'm going to throw in what I'm spending during the month. I know uh, Ken over at Middle of Media, he quit doing the uh, monthly audits. Yeah, I can understand uh, the pros and cons of doing them. But at the same time, I do, like he'd mentioned when he started doing about, you know, kind of puts it in perspective and hold yourself accountable what you're spending. And I think it is a really good idea because I know when I did my yearly roundup and what I spent for the entire year and every month. I'm like, damn, I, I do it. It makes me think about it. And it's like, I got it you know, find ways I got to be more conservative and so far haven't been doing very good. Um, definitely, hopefully my wife doesn't see, you know, she doesn't look at the tallies and what I spend and she definitely knows I spend way too much. I buy too many of these things. But yeah, I'm going to continue doing those collection updates. Unboxings, I'm going to continue doing those. Those are a lot of fun when I get... I'm not going to do unboxing for everything, just more special editions, things I get excited about and want to show off. Like I just done the Conan unboxings the other day because those are the hot commodity right now. Did a review of those two as well. You can check out. My subscribers are slowly climbing. Uh, as of this morning, I'm at 480. Not too shabby for two years worth. You know, I don't have any grand plan on how many I want to have. You know, there's no goal set. I just, as long as I see that number climbing, everyone, you know, slowly, it just shows that there's interest out there. Other people, are, you know, like what I'm doing. It's kind of a pride thing when I do things. You know, I see someone likes something, is like, you know, makes me feel better. You know, makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Now, comments. You know, I, I get some. I get a couple comments here and there. Definitely urge you to, you know, comment good or bad what you think of my videos. You know, give those suggestions. Tell me what you like. If there's something you don't like, you know, please comment. He's like, if I'm doing something wrong or if it's just not your cup of tea, I don't care. I'm not going to get offended by it. You know, for the longest time doing these, you know, when I started out, it's like, are people liking these or, or not liking them? You know, you know, how I can improve my videos. I know one of the things I... Uh, try to do is when I do my screenshots on my review I try to not I try to keep my under two minutes I don't want to bore anybody so when I get in doing those screenshots I you know I keep it under the two minutes and you know get the music and try to keep it short and sweet 
you know, sometimes I always take a lot of extra screenshots and then pick and choose which ones I want to use to really, you know, showcase, you know, the 4K or whatever I'm doing. And the dislike button. I have to I have to talk about it. I don't get that many, but once in a while, I'll see, I've, in the last couple of weeks, I haven't gotten any, but there was a, a little period there. I had several uh, videos that actually got a dislike. And I just, but no one says anything. So I was like, is someone hitting the dislike button by accident? Or are they not their cup of tea? Or they didn't like something? And it's like, again, if you don't like something I'm doing, if there's something, you know, please, you know, comment. Let me know. So I'm not sitting there scratching my head and wondering what I'm doing wrong. Or if it's just something, or is someone just being an asshole and just hitting the dislike button? Because I'll admit, there was a video I come across uh, recently had to do with uh, wrestling, because I'm a wrestling fan. And when I watched the video, it, you know, the video showed it had a thumbnail. I thought I was watching one thing, and I watched the whole thing. And I'm like, well, I just wasted eight minutes. I scanned through a lot of it. And I was like, I wasted this time. I didn't see what I wanted to see. So I, I that one, I did hit the dislike button, but I did comment and say, you know, I commented why I didn't like it, so maybe that person can keep that in mind, or if they don't care, I don't know, but I just, you know, yeah, like I said, if you don't like something, you know, let me know why. So that pretty much wraps up my little uh, anniversary video here, uh, probably a little long-winded, but I just want to throw a lot of thoughts out there, get your mind going, what you, uh, please, you know, comment below on this video or any videos at all, if you like or dislike. Yeah, I enjoy seeing those comments. Throw the suggestions out there, what you would like to see. You know, check out those other videos on my channel because, you know, I have come a long way the last few years and you'll see that. Hopefully the new, my, hopefully the new microphone's working really good, get a better audio quality. That's not, I know that's something that's been, well, I've been wanting to upgrade for a long time because my digital camera, the audio there wasn't the greatest. Kind of had that muffled sound. The phone, I didn't think it improved it at all, so hopefully this does the trick. Plus, I'm trying to find a good spot if I don't, you know, my beard, if it rubs on there, it's going to hear it. So hopefully I didn't have any issues here. So yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, continue watching my channel. I hope you enjoy it. There's a lot more coming. You know, I've got a lot of things on the board that I want to do, just a matter of uh, getting the time of doing those and also custom covers. I forgot to mention I'm going to continue doing those. I was going to do a big update on that, but my printer, our cartridge, black cartridge is pretty much almost out. So I can't print any more covers for a while because those cartridges are anywhere from $80 to $120 for a cartridge. But I've got a, probably about two dozen covers I need to get printed up that I've designed. So I want to show those off. Those are a lot of fun to do. So I spend a lot of time. I try to balance my time with doing you know, my YouTube stuff, uh, custom covers, and also watching the movies. And since I'm giving myself these themes for each month, I kind of feel obligated to go in each day to watch movies. Like uh, for the month of February, I'm doing uh, true stories. And anything even loosely based, just you know, movies that are inspired by true events, I'm going to do. I've got a, probably a good list of like 60 movies I'm going to be, you know, tackling. I'm not going to watch all of them, but I've got that many to choose from. And some of my wife is I'm going to hold off and watch with the wife as well. So, yeah, definitely follow me on Instagram and uh, Letterboxd. You know, those links are below. You know, follow me there to see what I'll watch all the time. So keep your eyes peeled for all that. And we'll see you soon. Geek out.